A few weeks ago, someone asked me in the comments if I would share my Assetto Corsa Competizione graphics settings now that I'm using Big Screen Beyond as my VR headset. It's taken me a few weeks to record this video because I was conscious at the time that I hadn't really changed my VR settings over the past six months or so, not since I very first got my hands on the headset. So for the past few weeks, I've been tweaking, tweaking, tweaking away, and this is the end result. When it comes to the device settings, I've left the display refresh rate at 75 hertz. I tried 90 hertz, but I didn't really like it, so I went back to the 75 hertz for that clarity. My display brightness is at 80%, and I've left the fan speed at 100. I won't read through the global settings line by line in the NVIDIA control panel. Instead, hit pause as they scroll if you need to take down any of the details. These settings are those that I found from watching a number of different videos on YouTube, trialing them out and then coming back to tweak them if I didn't get the end result I was looking for in game. I haven't bothered to set any program settings explicitly for Assetto Corsa Competizione. Instead, I'm using the global settings and then the in-game options. These are my Steam VR settings. I haven't really played around with these. Motion smoothings of custom render resolution. I've got resolution per eye 3560 by 3560, which is the default 100%. Haven't tried bumping that up yet. Um, I might try that another time. And then you can see the advanced super sampling filter is on. The overlay render quality is set to low. And I've got it to pause VR when the headset is idle. So let's take a look at the in-game video option settings that I have. I have full screen enabled, resolution is set to my default desktop, I've disabled VSync, I've turned off the frame rate limit, tongue twister, um, I've disabled menu frame rate limiter as well. I have a few profiles for the settings and you can see I've got a clear bright, clear warm, and I've got a new um, 3840 by 2160 um, resolution that I was going to experiment with. Um, these are just where I've made a few different tweaks in the profiles to try and get the skybox colors to match when I'm doing some real life videos versus reality. The one I'm using at the moment was the last, just the 2024 VR setting where I've been tweaking some of the settings to try and use a little bit more of my system resources. So you'll see the view distance are set to high, shadows and shadow dis distance are set to epic. I've enabled contact shadows. DLSS is enabled and set to quality. DLSS sharpness is set to 0% and I'm not using FSR so that's disabled. For effects and post-processing and for foliage and for texture, I've got them set at epic. Mirror quality is set to high with a view distance of 200 meters. Mirror frame rate limit, I've got at auto at the moment. I'm tempted to turn it off and then mirror resolution is set to high with 26 opponents visible. And that's more so for crew chief to make sure it can tell me who's doing what on track. When it comes to the virtual reality um, specific settings, I have pixel density set to 100%. I've been experimenting with 110 or 115%, maybe 120. I have it 100% right now. And then virtual to real scale is set to 100% as well. The advanced settings, I've got materials quality at epic. I've got bloom quality at mid. I've got volumetric fog at high. Foliage level of detail is at mid. Car level of detail quality is 100%. And then I've got high level of detail enabled for those objects in the distance. Advanced sharpen filter is disabled. And then on the image customization, I've disabled the motion blur. Saturation for this profile is at 94% with the white balance set to warmer. Sharpness I've left at 100%. Camera dirt effect is at 3.9, image contrast 0.3, exposure gain is 0.55, and I'm using the ACES tone mapping. And that's it, those are my settings. As I said, I've been tweaking my settings over the past three or four weeks with varying degrees of success, pushing the boundaries, pushing the envelope, and then rolling back when I realize I've gone a little bit too far. I've been trying to use a few more system resources now that I've taken um, another suggestion by someone who made it in the comments of trying the open VR plugin for Streamlabs OBS instead of capturing via Shadowplay the 4K desktop window or 
via Streamlabs the SteamVR mirror window. So by taking back some of those resources, I've tried increasing the pixel density. I've tried increasing some of the quality settings and I'm quite happy with the outcome. So you let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, any recommendations, especially if you found another way to squeeze just a little bit more beauty out of your VR settings, add them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of the subscriptions, all of the likes, all of the shares, but most importantly, thank you for the comments. If you've done none of those things up until now, what are you waiting for? Like, share, comment, subscribe. But comment comment is the one i want the most so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video this was just a short one and if you want to know what my automobilista 2 settings are you may have to wait a few more weeks because i haven't played that in a while either so i'll probably spend the next two to three weeks tweaking those settings too see you in the next one